Hi, welcome to Highland Homesteading. Today we're doing a June 2021 update on the garden. So if you haven't been with us before, our garden is 32 feet by 16 feet and we have this little gate to keep dogs out. But uh, here we go, we'll go up and down the different rows, show you what we are currently growing. And I think we have some seeds in here but uh, <clears throat> we're constantly working in the garden. Mostly my wife, Danielle, is working on all this. So, take you through. So, we've got some sunflowers planted here. They're still growing up, as you can see. We've got tons of sunflowers all around the garden, bringing lots of honeybees in and bumblebees. So, it's really nice to have our pollinators so close to the garden. So we've got a whole bunch of different types of peppers here. We got bell peppers, we got serranos, we got bonnie green bells. I don't know, whole bunch. We got some peas growing here. Now these are cover crop peas, I think. We just let them keep growing because they fix the nitrogen. Uh, we got some, I believe these are beets. Maybe they're charred, but I think that they're beets. Let's see if I can see any, any uh, tops of the, the beets in there, but that very well might be charred. It's hard to tell the difference, but uh, we got a squash growing there. I'm not sure what that is. I have another one back there. A few smaller ones along here. Uh, Danielle planted something in here recently. I think she put some seeds in there yesterday. We've got more sunflowers growing along here. We've got some cilantro that's going to seed. You can see that we got some coriander there actually the seed of the cilantro so we'll probably harvest that and grow it next year cilantro really bolts this time of year for us we have some beans and some more squash growing in there a uh, head of lettuce that uh, we haven't harvested yet some more uh, lettuce over here and some more chard some onions squash have some corn growing just a few corn uh, some more and the squash and then we got some big sunflowers over here in the corner this is where we had our potatoes we recently put up a short video about uh, harvesting those potatoes but we have a bunch of squash growing now and i'm not sure what she's seeded here so you have to uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notifications on what pops up here and we'll give you an update again in um, july so uh, different types of squash. I'm not really good at determining what different types of leaves are for squash uh, or what have you. I know Danielle likes to grow pumpkins. Uh, so we may have some pumpkins in here. Uh, we got some lettuce. This lettuce has just been awesome. I'm so happy that we're able to have lettuce throughout the warm months. Uh, we have some kale in here, different types of kale, squash in between, and this lettuce is going to seed. So we save uh, about one, one plant of um, all of our favorites for um, harvesting the seed from it. So we got cabbage and I don't know what this is, to be honest. This, <clears throat> I think, is maybe kohlrabi. Uh, that's what it looks like to me. But uh, Danielle would know. I should have her do these <laughs> garden tours she knows a lot more than I do and then this is a uh, tomatillo so we really like making salsa so you see a lot of peppers and tomatoes and tomatillos and onions and things like that because we love making our own salsas so we've got a bunch of different uh, peppers in here as well we got some volunteer sunflowers that popped up here and there and there all over the garden so uh, we'll show you those as we go along we've got peppers we got some eggplant Look at that eggplant we got growing down there. We got a few growing on here. So this is this is fun. I personally don't like eggplant, but uh, Daniel really does, so she grows them. Uh, then we've got these peppers here. What are these ones? Jalapenos, you can see them growing there. And then we got some onions still, and then we got some beans, and they're vining up our arbor. So our arbor, we decided to put our shade cloth on there and that seems to be actually really helping um, both the plants on this side of the arbor to be shaded in the afternoon this is the east side 
and then see all of our onions in there and i think that those are watermelons those little guys you can see we got a few little little guys coming up i think those are watermelon we got this uh, purple kale growing in here and uh you can see the shade in here right now it's really nice these peppers are really liking it so that's a some type of chili pepper and then this one is a uh, thai hot pepper so we've got some some peppers forming on those and um we got some more peppers back there a lettuce that is probably gonna be harvested soon and then these are cucumbers actually back here so uh actually we have some cucumbers that we have planted along the back wall in there i think some of those squashes i thought i was pointing out are actually cucumbers i'm sure so there's uh tabasco plants more onions that's definitely looking like watermelon right there and there's the beans vining up so um this should be good we'll probably have to take off this shade cloth as those beans and the cucumbers come up but we'll see we'll take you along for the ride serranos those are my favorite peppers so we got some serrano plants growing and then yeah, more serranos a jalapeno and there's those eggplants there's the sunflowers and they're kind of in the way i gotta maybe tie them back a little bit but uh we've got some more peppers over here these ones are the um what are the what do they call them anchos and poblanos so uh, we have a mix of those in there and then these ones are more anchos and poblanos we like those for making chili rellenos and uh, cooking with doing like stir fries and things um so you saw this let's see this is more charred back here for sure we're letting that one go to seed and then we've got some more squash cilantro going to seed and then this one is a this is a serrano as well actually and then we got some beans in here and those are nitrogen fixers so um those will help the soil around that pepper and then this uh this lettuce here we've cut and it's coming again but it'll probably bolt right away look at these greens man they look good beautiful lettuce so We've uh, had pretty successful uh, lettuce harvest this year. And then this is, um, you guys probably know what this is. This is that spicy, uh, uh, so good. Arugula. It's one of my favorite guitar greens because it has the spice. I like spicy stuff if you haven't figured that out. So let's hop across the beds here. These beds are, about 30 inches wide for these first three one two and three we've got them irrigated with the half inch tubing and some drip emitters if you haven't seen our videos already talking about that so the peppers these onions look at that onion that thing's looking pretty big so that's good more lettuce gotta have some big salads here real soon <clears throat> and then this squash i was just looking at this one i don't know what this one is it's got a bunch of flowers and stuff on it but haven't seen any actual fruit so uh we planted some things in here i think those are cucumbers with some beans and our peas peas are just about done and this lettuce is going to seed that's a real pretty one look at these watermelons they're just going crazy on that wall and these tomatillos they're they're really going crazy here i think they really like the morning shade and then the afternoon sun so yeah, those are the tomatillos. So we've got uh, quite a few different plants there. We planted those from seed. And we've got some tomatoes here. So this is our cattle panel trellis. And we just have three. I actually have a video on this one. Maybe I'll put it in the description or put a card up in the upper right if I remember to do that. I'm not too good with that. But uh, th we got three of these T-posts. And then we just wired them on with some heavy wire um and this cattle panel seems to be doing real well we just kind of push the tops of these tomatoes under and through like that and they just keep going you know through and through uh the cattle panel and it's actually giving them a lot of real good structure and it kind of keeps them out of the row 
uh, when we kind of tuck them under there. So um, anyway, it's went real well so far. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we're not knocking off blooms. I should be doing this two-handed. But uh, anyway, it's just going to demonstrate to you how that works. But uh, we got all different types of um, tomatoes here. This one's beefsteak. This one's a San Marazzo. We got uh, brandy wines. And then we've put some uh, beans in between. That one's a cucumber, I think. But uh, some beans in there, here and there, to um, add some nitrogen fixing to the soil around these tomatoes. So. So yeah, we've, uh, these paths are 12 inches wide and we just put wood chips on them. We had some uh, extra wood chips from the, that we use for chicken bedding uh, or chicken litter underneath their roost bar. And so put that down and uh, yeah, it's, it's been real good. It keeps uh, the moisture that uh, overflows from the drip uh, from evaporating and gives us a place to walk on where we can compress it and uh, not worry about the plants roots so much so this is our last row we got a bunch of um, mid-season potatoes growing this is our purple basil that is kind of turning green uh, and then we have some garlic finishing up here uh, some kale another uh, eggplant here so um, yeah those are good and then these are the romesco um, broccoli I guess um, so that's uh, yeah there it is Romanesco I always forget the name of that but uh, those have those plants have been doing good but we haven't seen too much uh, broccoli out of them that one looks it's like a regular broccoli kind of but more sunflowers on the edge of our uh, big garden and then we got some uh, Anaheim peppers this one's all yellow look at that huh that's pretty. So, I uh, have some of that. We planted um, mint here last year. And don't ever do that. <laughs> don't ever put it in your bed with everything else because it will try to take over. We tried to remove it completely and it keeps popping up. There's some more of those beans I was talking about. Uh, sunflowers. These sunflowers are just it's beautiful. And it's nice to have all the bees here in the garden. And then we've got some chard going to seed uh, and then these beets <laughs> Danielle pulled out some beets yesterday we had a ton of them all throughout here and uh, she pulled some out and a mouse popped out um, after one of them look at that big beet in there you see that that's some good beets in there so we uh, got a lot of beets she boiled up some of them yesterday and they're so good it's the best beets I've ever had so we got some more beets over here and that's about it some more lettuce that's almost done but uh that's the garden for june 2021 thanks for coming along with us i'm nick from highland homesteading thanks for watching we'll have more videos for you real soon